Afternoon, everybody. My name is Ryan Wilk. I'm an attorney here uh, at Redding Newman, PC in Houston, Texas. Uh, I'm dressed a little bit casual today. I think I'm thinking about my next vacation, which got me thinking about tourist visas, visitor visas, and, and kind of the common question I'm asked, what am I allowed to do in the United States should I enter on a B visa? So there's two types, um, a B1 and a B2, and I guess maybe there's a third, we can call it a combination of B1, B2 uh, business tourist visa. And so Generally, you're allowed to enter the United States for temporary business purposes on a B-1 visa, for tourism on a B-2 visa, or for a combination of those two on a, on a B-1, B-2. Um, but I'm often asked, you know, what am I allowed to do? What am I not allowed to do uh, in the United States if I've got one of these visas? So a B visa, a B-1 business visa, it is sort of tied to employment, but the touchstone there is, are you coming to the United States to further be employed? Or are you coming to the United States just to further your employment goals abroad? Um, for example, this is just a short example. Say I'm an Italian guy and I own a tech company in Italy. I can come to Silicon Valley and meet with people to, to discuss contracts, to you know vet potential investors, things like that. And so what I'm doing there is it's a limited activity that's furthering my employment, furthering my business abroad. Um, so I can come here on a B1 business business visa to conduct diligence, to, like I said, in, meet with investors, consult with clients, perhaps negotiate some contracts. I can attend conferences. I can participate in training, things of that sort. Again, what I'm doing is I'm coming to the United States to further what I do abroad. And I'm, of course, once I get that goal accomplished, I'm going to go back home and continue building my business. Um, what the government does not want to see you do is come here and sort of be employed in the United States. Um, they don't want to see you uh, transfer yourself, so to speak, where you're just coming here to the United States to work for some time. There are other types of visas for that. Uh, for a tourism visa, for the B-2, uh, this is tourism. This is you coming on a vacation. You're visiting friends and families. Now you can get medical treatment and things like that. Uh, but with neither of these two visas, B1 or B2, should you be accepting employment from anyone? That doesn't, that means you shouldn't be selling things on eBay, uh, selling your art on the street if you're maybe you're a great, great artist, or maybe you're not so great of an artist. Um, but essentially what you're doing is you're coming here for one, either tourism or you're coming here just to get some uh, tangible benefit that you take back home to your business there. Um, things that you shouldn't be doing or that you can't do is, like I said, engage in employment activities where you go out and you start really doing employment duties for pay, whether that's for your employer or abroad or for someone that you meet here in the United States. Um, you can't attend uh, higher education now. You can take a two-day cooking class, but you shouldn't enter the Culinary Arts Academy. Uh, there's visas for that. And so generally, when you're looking at a tourist visa, whether it's a B1 business visa or a B2 proper tourism visa, you're coming here for a short and a limited purpose. If you're coming here for a business purpose, you're coming here just to further the goals of, of what whoever your employment employer was abroad, whether it's training, whether you're doing some di diligence for your own company, you're gathering information, you're going to take that back home. And then once you're home, you're going to propel your business forward uh, with whatever you might have learned here in the United States. For a, a B2 tourist visa, you're coming here, you're visiting some sites, you're, you're hopefully taking home some some nice uh, American treasures uh, that you've bought you know, while you're here. But what you should not be doing, and what the touchstone of all this is, is you should not be employed um, in the United States. And so there are some gray areas to this where maybe a B visa is appropriate for certain activities and inappropriate for others. And that's where it is appropriate or where it is necessary to contact an immigration attorney to make sure that you're not getting yourself into undue trouble. And so if you're interested in any further information on this, we do have a few articles on our website. Uh, and if you're interested in any consultations, you can visit us at rnlawgroup.com. Again, I'm Ryan Wilk. Thanks. Bye.